This is a protest the people of Calabar Kingdom have yearned for and after over two decades, their prayer for the construction of the Trans-Calabar Road has finally been answered by the administration of Governor Sim Fubara. It is a massive project that will cost the state 225 billion naira. And when completed, the Trans-Calabar Road will surpass the Port Harcourt Railroad as the single biggest project to be embarked upon in the history of the state. We are not going to borrow back on this project we have saved and we are using our savings to pay off which we've already done the 30 percent initial advance payment so the contractor has no reason to delay but to start up the project immediately meanwhile while calling on the affected communities to give the contractors the support need to complete the project on time governor sim fubara says he will not tolerate any sabotage for those of you who are planning to sabotage it it is your business if we don't do it in our own time i wonder when you're going to get it so you need to buy into this project the advantage of this project it's making life easy for our people. Sim Fubara says his administration will continue to give priority to the welfare of the people invited to flag off the project, the former Nigerian president, Goodluck Ebele Jonathan. The event provides the former president, Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, the opportunity to speak on the political crisis between Sim Fubara and Yesom Wiki, Minister of Federal Capital Territory, to embrace peace and love. And I join the leaders of River State and the well-meaning Nigerians that have been calling for truth to also re-emphasize that there is a need for ceasefire. Let us do things that will rather project the state. There is this common saying that when two elephants are fighting, the grass suffers. Both the governor and our minister are young people, very young people, but they are powerful. And if they continue to fight, the rivers people will suffer. So we'll want them to work together for the collective interest. Whatever has passed, has passed. Let's move to a new version for the interest of the state, for the interest of the Niger Delta, and indeed for the interest of this country. If others said that if the difference between them is not resolved, the crisis is capable of having far-reaching consequences for the country. The tension will not help us. River State is very critical in this country. River State is the heart of the Niger Delta. If River State is destabilized, the whole Niger Delta will be destabilized. And it will not end within the Niger Delta alone, because I'm from this part of the country and I know how the system works. And we wouldn't want any crisis in River State. Why calling on other well-meaning Nigerians to intervene, Dr. Jonathan also frowns at the ugly trends of disagreements between the outgoing and incoming administrations across the states of the Federation, saying that the situation has become worrisome. Tosin to Luwaloju, reporting for BTV News.